just lay down like, yeah. Now I see why you like me so much. <laughs> the likeness is even ginger. <laughs> yeah. Little ginger guy. Hey. Hello. Are you coming over for a cuddle too? Oh, they love a cuddle. So we're out in Clymer, but it's a couple of miles outside of town and we're really just passing through. But we're at this little monument dedicated to the Colleen Bon. If you don't know the story of the Colleen Bon, it's pretty sad. She was a 16 year old girl who was lured by a guy with the proposal of marriage, I think. And then he murdered her, threw her body into the Shannon and she washed up. He was hanged after that and yeah, rightly so. But it's just a sad story because I mean, the young girl... She was only 16. Only 16, yeah. Been lured to her death. It was a huge thing back then because no one had ever really experienced anything like that other than in war or a, girl to be, a young girl to be killed like that was just heartless. It still is, like, but obviously. But well, I guess Climber's claim to fame is the fact that it's, uh, it has the ferry to Kerry and it's just down the road here. I can't see it from here, but it's just down the road. And if you're in this part of Clare, if you're in Climber or Kilrush, even Kilkee, you can get the ferry to Kerry. It'll save you about a two hour drive. So that's, that's pretty cool. Here you can just cross the river and you're in another county and another part of the country. I think it's cheap enough as well. Plus they have a little shop. <laughs> you can get like snacks and drinks. Down and here? Oh, they have a little sh Oh, there is actually a shop down there, yeah. I didn't bring my walnuts. I've one here, do you want to go down? Yeah. <laughs> no, I need a cookie or a chocolate or something from the shop. You need a cookie or a chocolate or something? Maybe a sandwich to be honest. What about a chocolate sandwich? No. No? Not your thing? No. Okay, let's no. go to the shop and see what we can get. Yeah, some days. Not not every day. Shop dog. Oh, hello. Good boy. For no place else in the world will you find ginger mermaids. But this doll terrifies me. Amy, you freak me out. Coonley on Clare. Up the banner! There'll be and be here as well, so there is a place to stay and also there's a local bear called the Old Brogue. Cecilia for some reason thought it was called the Dancing Goose. I don't know how she got that into her head. Hmm? Maybe they should rebrand into the Dancing Goose. <laughs> well, people from the Old Brogue, if you're listening to this, Cecilia reckons you should rebrand to the Dancing Goose. <laughs> you just walked into a branch. I did. <laughs> so we're here up on Ratty Castle. It's just a little bit. It's between my hometown and Limerick. About a 50 minute drive from Kilrush. It's a 15th century castle. Now it's a folk park and uh, just kind of a historical site. So let's go in and have a look around. This should be fun. You excited? I'm super excited. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? The weather is great. There are old buildings. Yeah, it's great. Nice. Did I ever tell you the story about the troll that lives under the bridge? He eats goats. He eats goats, yeah. He's very fond of goats. He prefers halal in general. Where are you doing? Hey, got our tickets. Uh, we're here. We're in Bunratty. Oh, there's a goat. You don't like goats. No, I, I do like goats. I just don't like them as pets. Because they can stab you. It's like a dog with a knife t taped to its head. Hey. I should call you Bobby. Bobby. 
So this is your typical kind of old style Irish cottage and you have a boat out the front because back in the day a lot of people used to fish, live off the land and eat seaweed and that's how a lot of people did it. She's the bird whisperer. Look at those reptilian feet. Such lizard's feet. It's crazy. Looks just like our Christmas dinner. Where I think we're being surrounded slowly by birds. <laughs> I like birds. Trying to sneak up on us, huh? This is the, the Cashin Fisherman's House. The platoon house is a replica of Salmon Fisherman's House from the Cashin River. Let's have a look inside. Oh, this smells exactly like my grandfather's house. Yeah, old Irish house. Exactly like it, I swear. This reminds me a lot of my grandfather's house. Big open heart fire. <laughs> uh, she's a keeper. She's definitely a keeper. There she blows. Pass me the salt, please. Okay, Jesus. What are those games called when you like? Sorry, I meant the pepper. Going to the dungeons. If I can fit. Wanna go to the dungeon? Everything. I'm going down into the dungeon now. I just hope I can fit. Let's go. <laughs> That's really scary. No, there's just one person down there lit by a shaft of light. It looks cozy. It looks cozy. You can stay here for the night then if you want. It's not so many webs up there. Oh god, let's get out of here. It's very claustrophobic. That's, that's where the band play. I, I think you two played up there at one stage. This is where all the medieval action happened. Some action there, yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here's some medieval porn. Yeah, they even did it back then. There's more. Imagine all the people that died on these stairs trying to get to the top. And we're at the top. I mean, there's so much amazing history here. There's like paintings. Tapestries, there's like brass, really detailed hammered brass. Ye oldie fire hose reel. There's so much here, so, so much. This is my room. Call you, dibs on this, yeah. You call it dibs on this room? Yeah, that's mine. She's sassy, look how sassy she is. Yeah, she's got. It's me. What the fuck was that? She's like, nah, uh, you ain't getting my goblet. Sassy. I call dibs on this room. Like the window. Yeah. You can just sit there. Both of them. Play guitar, read books. This is the South Solar Room and it's absolutely amazing. I'd say this room was probably used for like high class meetings or maybe the king would come here and just chill out and relax. What a room though. Just imagine having this room to yourself. Just come here, read a few books. Chill by the fire, listen to some minstrels play the lute for you. And of course, no castle is complete without a, a merman lampshade with deer antlers. It was all the rage back in the day. Interior designers back then were mostly like witches and priests and they were just really throwing everything together. Yeah, I was just saying to Cecilia, if a tall person was coming down these stairs, they would have a lot of trouble. But Cecilia just rightfully pointed out to me that back in the day there was no tall people because they'd all lost their legs from war. Free. Free. Very fancy for a little cottage, isn't it? Very fancy for the cottage, yes. It's like in Sweden where they have one room closed up where you only go like two times a year. Maybe somebody's important birthday. 
Like your grandma's house? Exactly, that kind of room. We had one of those. Let us take a walk through old Ireland. Back in the day, the, when the English took over Ireland, they painted all the mailboxes red. So now, sometimes in Ireland, people go out, paint the mailboxes red again, just so that they can paint them back to green. Yeah, you can see little chips of red where it used to be painted. It's here. It's actual history. This is the hickey doctor. You come here if you have any hickeys or anything like that. your old Irish post office. Of course, no tour would be complete without going to the fairy village. If this doesn't have genuine legit fairies, I'm going to be disappointed. My review all, all swings on this. Swedish fairy. I found one of their houses. Hello? I thought there were condoms hanging from the trees. <laughs> Hello? There's no one home. All the fairies are out. Oh, I love that one there. It's like a hobbit house. Wolf hounds are awesome. Maeve and Shearsha, just in case any of you can't uh, can't make it out. Oh, they're so nice. So I felt something falling on my head there a minute ago. Guess what it was? It's a bird making a new home. I think they're called the architect bird or the builder bird. Oh, he just flew away. Now I see why you like me so much. <laughs> the likeness is in the ginger. Oh, yeah. The ginger guy. Hey. Hello. Are you coming over for a cuddle too? Oh, they love a cuddle. Hi. Our pigs are really intelligent. Aren't yeah, they? super intelligent, yeah. They say if humans didn't take over the world, pigs would have. This is the proper house where people used to sleep with their animals. And I'll show you inside right now. So you have your little stocks for tying up the horses or your cows or whatever. And then you have your drain on the floor so that the animals can poo or pee. I guess you'd sleep in there. It's not like the usual way to live in Ireland, but I mean, some people had to do it because their animals were their livelihood, and if they lost them or if anything happened to them, I mean, that that could end the, that could mean the end of their farm or even worse, you know. So. I don't like swans either. They're nasty. Yeah. Donkey. Donkey. Look at it. I'll just take the whole thing. It actually suits it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm country. Ready to go eat? Yes. Yeah, you hungry? Yes. Always. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for some good food and good desserts, go to the creamery. It was nice, wasn't it? It was really good. That's it, we're done. Had a great day. I thought it was really cool. Got to see lots. A little bit of Irish history, a little bit of old Ireland. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Have you ever been to Ireland? Have you ever been to see any castles? If not, what would you like to see? What would you like to do? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs>